This video is on jet transforms and in today's video I am going to explain what is this damping rule and how it is used to solve the problems from z transforms. See here is the definition. If z of f of n is equal to capital F of z then z of a power minus n into f of n. If this f of n is multiplied with a power minus n then the answer will be capital F of a into z. So a is multiplied with z. And next z of a power n into f of n. So if a power n is multiplied with f of n, here the answer is capital F of z into z by a. And here using this damping rule, I am going to solve the problem that is z transforms of cos h a t into sin b t. As you know that what is cos h a t? So cos h a t can be written as e power a t plus e power minus a t by 2 into this is sin bt. Clear? And now see here I am bringing this half common. So this is e power a t plus e power minus a t into this is sin bt. Clear? And the next step here is this is half times of z of if I multiply these two this will be e power a t into sin bt plus this is e power minus a t into this is sin b t. Now using z transforms this is half times of z of e power a t into this one is sin b t plus z transforms of e power minus a t into this one is sin b t. Clear? And now see here now I am going to use this damping rule. See how, how it is possible that is z of so this can be written as e power a whole power t into this one is a sin b t and the next one here is z transform of e power minus a into t power t into this one is sin b t as you know that according to our damping rule so we have a formula that is see here i'll show you that is z of a power minus n into f of n. So, if there is minus here, so first it is positive. a power plus n into f of n can be written as f of z by a. And next one here, z of a power minus n into f of n can be written as f of a into z. And clearly, we got z of sin bt value as, see here, z of sin bt value is nothing but z sin t. So, this is z sin t by this one is z square minus 2z cos t plus 1. So, using these three, I am going to substitute here. See here, now this one is nothing but half times of so, in place of a, we have e power a t and it is a positive value. So, if it is positive, we have to replace z by z by a. So, in sin b t. So, z transform of sin b t is like this. In place of z, I am going to replace z by a. So, a is nothing but e power z by e power a. Clear? Into simply sin t by here. This is z by e power a whole square minus 2 times of z by e power a into this one is cos t and this one is plus 1. And here if you see this one, this is e power minus a into t. If there is minus, we have to multiply a z. So, we have to replace z by a into z. Here a is nothing but e power minus a. So, this is e power minus a into z. So, we have to replace z by z into a. So, here a is nothing but e power minus a and again here it is a sin t by in place of z I am writing e power minus a into z. This is whole square minus 2 times of e power minus a into z. This is cos t plus 1. Clear? Now, if I solve this, that will be the answer. See clearly. So, clearly if you see this one. So, this is half times of, so this is half times of, this is z by e power a. See here, z by e power a into sin t by, this one is z square by e power 2a 
minus 2 z by e power a into cos t plus 1 and here it is e power minus a into z sin t and here it is e power minus 2a into z square minus 2z into e power a into cos t plus 1. Clear? And now if I take LCM here, it will be half times of this is z by e power a into sin t by here. If I take e power a e power 2a is LCM, this will be z square minus 2z into e power a and again this is cos t plus this is e power 2a and next this one is e power minus a into z this is a sin t by here this is e power minus 2a into z square minus 2z e power minus a into cos t plus 1 and the next one see here this will be half times of so, if I send this to the numerator, then this will be z by e power a into e power 2a. This is a sin t by this is z square minus 2z into e power a into cos t plus e power 2a. Now, if I multiply the numerator and denominator with, see here, this is a sin t by, if I multiply with e power 2a, in the numerator as well as in the denominator see what happens here so here it will be e power minus 2a into z square minus 2z e power minus a into cos t plus 1 plus 1 clear now if i multiply this will be half times of if i cancel for one time so this will be z into e power a into sin t by this is z square minus 2z into e power a minus into cos t plus e power 2a and here if i multiply these two 2a minus a so this will be e power a z this is a sin t by so if i multiply if i send it inside multiply so both will cancel and this will be z square and 2a minus a so this will be 2z into e power a into cos t plus if i multiply this will be e power 2a so if you observe properly the denominators are equal here so if i take lcm so this will be half times of so as we have the same denominator lcm also will be the same value that is z square minus 2z into e power a into cos t plus e power 2a and the numerators are also same that is z e into e power a into sin t and here also this is z into e power a into this is a sin t. So now the value is half times of this is 2z into e power a into sin t by this value is nothing but z square minus 2z e power a into cos t plus e power 2a. So if I cancel this half then the value will be See, the final value is z into e power a into sin t by this value is nothing but this is z square minus 2z into e power a into cos t plus e power 2a. So, this is nothing but according to our uh, question, what is the question here? This is nothing but the z transform of cos h a t into this one is a sine bt so using the damping rule so we got the final value as z into e power a sine t by z square minus 2z e power a into cos t plus 2a so according to our damping rule if there is minus so a is multiplied with z if it is a positive value so we have to divide with a with a so using the damping rule solve cos of cos h a t into sin b t. So, cos h a t as it is a hyperbolic function. So, we can write in the uh, in the form of e power a t plus e power minus a t by 2 and again this is sin b t. So, if I send this half outside, so and again if I multiply with e power a t with sin b t and e power minus a t with sin b t and I have uh, given z transform to each of uh, each and every function, then this will be of the form e power 
a power n into f of n. So, this is a power n into f of n. So, this can be written as f of z by a. So, what is the z transform of sin bt? z transform of sin bt is nothing but z sin d by z square minus 2z cos t plus 1. So, in place of z, I have to replace z by a. So, a is nothing but e power, e power a. And here, it is minus so e power minus a so we have to multiply so we have to multiply and we have to replace z by a into z here a is nothing but e power minus a so in both cases i have uh, replaced z by z by a and here z by z into a so after replacing so the with the minimum calculation we got the answer clearly after taking LCM and cancelling and here if I multiply and divide with e power 2a on both sides we got the denominator same and after adding and this will be the final answer and this is how we have to use the damping rule and so for using uh, z transforms we have used damping rule and that is how we have to solve thank you so much and if you really like please practice and uh, pass it on to your friends